So the UPS man just dropped off a package and I'm pretty sure it's from the future. So a couple weeks ago, Inventables emailed me and they wanted to send me an X-Carve machine so that I could start doing some CNC projects. So it's been a couple weeks since I got everything fully put together. I'm now actually in the future. Wait, does that mean we're, does that mean we're always in the future? And I've gone totally headfirst into learning this thing, which kind of explains why I haven't posted any new videos in the past couple weeks. At first I was going to do a video where I document the entire build process of the machine. But as soon as I opened the boxes, I realized that was gonna be pointless. So I figured I'd make a video about my experience so far, as I'm sure there are a few of you watching that have been thinking about dipping your toes into the world of CNC. Now I'm a somewhat technology averse person. I like analog things. So I wasn't sure how much I was gonna enjoy using a CNC machine. But one thing I really do enjoy is learning new things and progressing my skills and knowledge. So the first step in all of this was to actually build the machine. Now, like I said, I'm not the most technologically savvy person but I feel like I'm qualified to put this together. And honestly, if you're mechanically inclined at all, having played with Lego as a kid actually isn't that far off, you will probably enjoy this part. I don't know if all CNC machines at this level come completely disassembled like the X-Carve, but it actually ended up being a way to become completely familiar with the machine and how it works which I'm sure will be hugely beneficial down the line when I eventually break something. This will happen. That's a Sean Boyd guarantee. Now, if you hate the whole assembly process and you just want to get to the computers and cutting, I'm sure there are machines out there that come more put together, but I'm also assuming that most of you watching would be into the assembly part. And if you put it together yourself, you can pretend you're Steve Gutenberg in Short Circuit. They can seem quite lifelike, but they are still machines. Ah. All right, well, I'm not totally sure, but I think I'm about to turn this thing on for the first time. Let's see what happens. to a good start. The uh, the emergency stop button was pressed. That's That was the problem. Anyways, once I had the machine up and running, I opened up Easel for the first time. Easel is the online program that Inventables developed to run their CNC routers like the X-Carve. And this is the point where I essentially open the door to a world that I am completely unfamiliar with. The first time I used Easel, I essentially had zero experience with any sort of CAD software besides, I guess, one semester of CAD drafting that I took in high school. But 
the technology was slightly different back then. It's the messages. I can customize my email. My niece sent me a picture. If you have a phone line, you can be online. And this might be my favorite part about the whole thing. Within about 10 minutes of opening Easel, my machine was making its first cut. Now that part was mind blowing to me. I had assumed I would spend half the day watching online tutorials just to get the machine running. But with Easel being so user friendly, it allowed someone like me with almost no experience to just jump right in. And so I spent that first day doing what any self-respecting small business owner would do. I cut my name and logo over and over again until I got it just right. I also made this neat tool caddy that I found on the Inventables website and then I cut my logo into this as well. So that's pretty much where I'm at with this machine so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it, but I'm pretty excited to incorporate it into my regular workflow. I really want to see if I can get it to carve chair seat dishes. Also, there's a couple links in the description if you want to check out Easel or the X-Carve. And of course, thank you for watching. Sorry there wasn't much furniture making in this one, but I promise we'll get back to that soon. Hopefully you still enjoyed this one. This time I'm going to leave you with a quote from the great Stephen Hawking, just to kind of keep us all on our toes. In 2014, he said, the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race.